McAllen. I'm Crystal Garcia and today at MCN Studios we have two very special guests and we have a pretty special topic. This is the first annual Government for a Day event and to better help explain what that's all about we have Laura McLeish representing Futuro RGV and of course City McAllen Commissioner Rodolfo Rudy Castillo. Thank you both for being here. We truly appreciate you coming on. Thank you for inviting us. Yes, thank you for the invitation. Of course. Now, this is the first one that's happening. So tell people, what can they expect for this Government for a Day event? Well, actually, what we're doing is transporting uh, McAllen City Government over to the Palmview Community Center for the day. And we will be starting off with uh, presentations by uh, the mayor and uh, Commissioner Castillo, um, and then having questions from the audience as to what services can you provide and also having some nonprofits. Now, Commissioner, you work in city government and unfortunately a lot of times people just don't get the full grasp of what that all entails. So do you think they'll be able to better understand it with something like this? Well, we, we need to get it out there in the first place. So once we start and we're going to advertise it a little bit so we can go to some doors and let the people know what uh, un dia de gobierno is. A government for a day. So we will be reaching out and this will be our first annual and thanks to Ms. Laura, we uh, came up with the idea of having something like this for the city of McAllen. And actually Commissioner Castillo is our guinea pig that we're <laughs> using for this um, and he graciously thought it was a good idea and has been working tirelessly trying to get the word out to his constituents about what wonderful services are provided by the city. Perfect. Now, I did have a question because it's my understanding that you just came up with this. What made you decide, you know what, this is something we really need to get out there? Many years ago, I worked uh, for the governor of Pennsylvania, and uh, he regularly did these in different parts of the state. And the turnout was just amazing. The information that when the whole state government would, would go to a uh, location, and found out actually what fabulous services were provided that no one knew about. And so we were talking to the commissioner and said, what do you think to get the services to his district? Um, because many of them may not know what wonderful staff you have and what wonderful services there are. Perfect. So we've got government covered and we definitely have that. Of course, this is not a little event. You guys are pretty much going big with this. You're going to have vendors. I think I see musicians on there. Tell people a little bit about what they can expect when they come out, rather be by themselves or with their families. Sí, este lo va a hacer en español para pa todos mis constituyentes del lado del sur de Macarena. Este lo que queremos uh, es que la gente sepa dónde puede hablar o con quién puede comunicarse para cualquier detallito que tengan en la ciudad en el sur de Macallen. Ese es por eso lo queremos hacer y que la gente ya este no tenga uh, pretexto para no hablar, verdad? Porque muchas veces no tienen un número o algo. So ahí vamos a tener todo, muchas entidades de la ciudad, desde el uh, pasaporte el uh, PUB, van a estar muchas entidades de, de la ciudad de Macarena para si tienen preguntas, ese va a ser uno de los días que pueden agarrar mucha información para, para cualquier detallito. Perfect. So we got our Spanish speaking audience covered with that, but for those who may not be that versed or, you know, they kind of just have a, a little Tex-Mex more so, let's break that down for them as well, right? Yes. Uh, so, uh, see, uh, we're making this government for a day, you know, to, to inform our community that who they have to call for any situation, a problem, or whatever. It, we're going to have people out there. We're going to have PUB. We're going to have passport. We're going to have a lot of departments from the city of McAllen. Uh, we're going to have the uh, McAllen PD. Uh, all these departments where we can call and get information. And, if, you know, that's one of the main things we're doing going for a day to get, let the people know. Perfect. And then, Laurel, pretty much for this, I know this is going on Saturday, April 6th, so this is right around the corner. Yes. Oh, yes. Don't remind me about that. Uh, we're also, one of the things that are including a lot of the nonprofits that provide services uh, to the community, such as Comfort House, uh, the Prosperity Task Force. We also have county uh, officials coming, like the Sheriff's Department, who also will be interacting. Hope uh, Clinic. Uh, Boys and Girls Club. We got a bunch of that yeah, are going to help us. Nonprofit. 
about 20. So it's going to be a good one. So we want to reach out to the people. Come and join us. We're going to be there um, early in the morning from 9 to 2. And yes. Commissioner Castillo is offering the breakfast, breakfast and, and lunch. lunch. So we want to do a really good shout out to him saying thank you for that. Perfect. So if anything, guys, for sure, breakfast and lunch is on the house. So I want to say thank you again for coming out. And hopefully we can get a pretty good audience to join this event, the first of many. We hope. Thank you. Thank All you right. so much. So again, if you plan on attending government for a day, you want to head over. This is going to be Saturday, April 6th at the Palm View Community Center. So again, April 6th at the Palm View Community Center. You can go by yourself or with your family. For the City of McAllen, I'm Crystal Garcia.